Hello and welcome to Webdem Windows YouTube channel and you are watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about if and if else statements in Java. In our last video we have seen about conditional statements which included if, if else and if else if statements. So in this video we're going to just see the first two if and if else statements and we have already seen a small introduction about all these three statements. So if you have missed the last video here is a short introduction about if and if else statements. If statement. So in if statement, the code block will be executed only if the condition is true. So if you are having a condition which returns false as the value, then the code within the if block will be skipped through and the rest of the codes which is written in the program will be executed if there is anything after the if statement. So what the problem that we're going to face with if statement is that there will be no alternative code that will be executed if the condition is false. So that is actually managed in if else statement. So in if else statement, the code block will be executed if the condition is true, just like if statement. And if the condition returns false, then the code block of the else part will be executed. So the alternative codes can be executed if the condition is false with the help of the else block. So if you want to do something with the if condition is true and something else with the if condition being false, then you can use the if else statement. So let's actually see these if and if else statement in action in our program. So I'm going to use my Eclipse IDE. I'm going to create a class named if and if else. So let's actually go into the package. It's going to be the default package. And into that and if and if else. So it looks awkward. The class name is looking awkward. I'm just creating my main method, which is public static wide main string args. So in this program, I'm going to check the largest of the two numbers. So I'm going to declare two variables, int a is equal to 15, and int b is equal to 10. So the largest number is a. So we have to check if a greater than b. So this is going to give me a value in boolean. So we have already seen the conditional statements needs a boolean value in order to pass through and execute the code blocks. So only if the value is true, the codes or the statements within these two brackets will be executed. If it is giving false, then it will just skip through this part and execute only the lines below the if statement. So I'm going to actually print out the values, system.out.println. So it's going to be a is the largest. And we're just going to execute the program and it's going to check and it is true. So a is the largest. So let's actually change the value. I'm going to change it to 20 and now I'm checking the value. So it's not going to print out anything but what if I want to actually print out B is largest in here. So that's where we're going to use else. So as we have already checked if A is greater than B and if it returns false then B should be greater than A. So that means system.out.println and B as the largest value. So I'm going to print it out and it prints out B is the largest. So with these if and if else statements you can check for a value or check for a condition. So we have already seen this greater than lesser than symbols in the operator section of the Java tutorial. So using that you can actually get some boolean values as a result of the conditional check. So I can check if A is greater than B or if it's A is greater than or equal to B and A is less than B, A is less than or equal to B or A equal to equal to B which is going to be checking whether A is equal to B's value. That is actually the end of the video. So thank you for watching this video and hope this was useful. If you find this video useful, please like the video and also share it with your friends and family and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel already and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, 
please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or on the Facebook page or Google Plus page or Twitter feed. You can also contact me personally through the social links I have shared in the description section. And thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.